Welcome to the Dave Christensen Show, presented by Union Wireless. Trade in your old phones and get paid. Well, the Cowboys are just moments away from opening the season in Lincoln, Nebraska. The Pokes will take on the 18th ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers Saturday in Memorial Stadium in Lincoln. Boy, that's a big day coming up, but uh, this has been a long time coming, Coach. In fact, you've got to go all the way back, really, to uh, spring practice. You had an amazing summer workout and conditioning session. And then, of course, the fall drills. Uh, you've been looking forward to this moment, the start of this season, for a long time, haven't you? Well, I have. Uh, we're, we're really excited about the upcoming season. Our kids worked extremely hard. It's, it's been a great off season for us uh, all the way back into January when we started our player development program. Uh, you know, I had a good spring. Uh, you know, the kids were extremely dedicated and spent the summer here, trained hard all summer, came back in, in great shape. And so we were bigger, stronger, faster, in much better condition than we've been in, in, in a long time. Uh, and then uh, training camp, and uh, it was a good training camp. Our kids worked hard. Uh, uh, you know, we, we uh, got a lot of stuff done, got everything implemented uh, that we wanted to get uh, installed, and uh, it was a very productive camp for us. Number one thing that's always a concern coming out of the fall camp is how did the Cowboys come out physically? Uh, and fortunately, I guess, knock on wood, not a lot of major injuries, if any. Tell us a little bit well, about that. Well, we had a couple guys that we lost, uh, uh, you know, for, for the season, a couple young guys that uh, may or may not have played. Uh, then uh, Riley Lang, we lost him uh, for part uh, of the season. He'll be, he'll be coming back and joining us. And we're hoping that we get, uh, you know, Samson back during the season. Um, you know, Chad Reese is banged up a little bit right now, but he should be back. So, uh, for the most part, we got through pretty darn healthy, and uh, I think we're uh, ready to go for this first game. I think of Devin Harris, the Cowboys' starting middle linebacker. There's a guy that you got back for the fall and during the summertime, and he will be back on the field after missing all of last season. Yeah, he, he, he will. He's, he's, uh, he's had a good camp. Uh, you know, he's, he's staying healthy, and, and knock on wood, we, we need him to continue to do that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, Devin sh should have a great year for us, and uh, uh, him and, and, and a lot of other guys. Not only the Cowboys getting ready for the upcoming season in a great fall camp, you've had added a few new coaches uh, along the way here in, in the fall. And uh, let's see, there's also a matter that you have a new play caller, I believe, this season. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your new coaches and, and that play caller guy. Well, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, we hired Jason Gesser and uh, the coach our quarterbacks and uh, has done a tremendous job with, with our quarterbacks and developing them. Uh, Pete Caligas and, and Jim Harding are co-coordinating everything on offense uh, uh, with some input, obviously, from me. I'll, I'll be the play caller and Nick Danielson will coach our tight ends. Uh, on that side. Uh, from a defensive uh, side of the ball, uh, we've added Jamar uh, Kane to coach the defensive line, and Ronaldo Hill, who was a graduate assistant for us, is now going to coach our, our corners uh, full-time on our staff. And so really pleased and excited about uh, where we're at from a staff standpoint. You've talked a lot about, and we've heard a lot, seen it during the fall here, the attitude of this Cowboy team. It's, uh, uh, these players have experience. They might have be still kind of young in some spots, but They've had a lot of playing time, a lot of experience, but the attitude has been sensational. It has been. Uh, this is a team that uh, generally uh, cares about each other and works extremely hard, and you know they want to be accountable to each other. Uh, they've, it, it, great team chemistry and uh, leadership uh, you know, from our, our leadership group and our seniors, our captains. Uh, it's been a lot of fun working with these kids that are so committed. It's an emotional group. You have some emotional leaders, uh, some great leaders on this team. And boy, you get the feeling, is particularly this week, game week for the Nebraska game, just itching to get at it. Cowboys are excited for this first game. They are. We, uh, you know, we've changed our schedule now, and we practice in the mornings. And, and uh, we used to uh, come in on Sunday. The kids did. Now we don't. We give them Sunday off. They come in Mondays, which used to be their day off. So we had our first morning practice uh, today, and uh, you know, a lot of enthusiasm out there, a lot of excitement, as there always is at this time of the year. And uh, I think our kids are very excited about the upcoming season. Oh boy, it's going to be exciting. The Cowboys in Lincoln on Saturday to take on the 18th ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. That should be something. Now stay with us. We have more to come here on the Dave Christensen Show. We're going to talk with uh, Cowboy middle linebacker Devin Harris. And our own Kevin McKinney is along to do just that right after this.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Dave Christensen Show presented by Union Wireless. Our special guest today, quite a cowboy, of course, linebacker supreme, Devin Harris. And Devin, I know uh, it's been a long preseason. The fall camp is long, but now you're ready to go. I know you're very excited. Yeah, I am very excited. It's been a long time. Okay, so you didn't want to take on anybody really good in this opening game, right? So you take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Uh, you've had a lot of time to look them over and, and to uh, see what they're all about. What's your assessment of this team? We're facing a very good opponent, but I feel like we have the tools and we've prepared well enough to go in and compete really well with them. As you uh, uh, look at this game, of course, last year, not a good opener for Devin Harris. Uh, had an injury after a great start to the game and uh, missed the rest of the season. Uh, this has got to mean so much more to you because you had to experience that. Yeah, it really does. Um, it's possibly my last year, too. So I just have a lot to prove to myself. And uh, I've been waiting for this game since September 1st last year. You know, a lot of talk about the defense, and everybody talks about the offense and, and what it's all about. Uh, how do you feel about th this group? It looks to us as, as uh, the, the fall camp has come, gone along that it's come together. Yes, it really has. Uh, I've been here since Coach C has been here uh, for the first time, so this has been the best group I've been a part of uh, as far as on and off the field, offense and defense and special teams. You know, uh, of all the guys we talk to, I think you have one of the more interesting majors. Uh, you are an anthropology major. and uh, Number one, what, uh, what do you do with that? And, and number two, what, how did you get your interest in it? Well, I sort of fell into it. I was in engineering, and uh, I felt like that was a little bit too busy with the football schedule. So I went to math, and I don't really want to teach. So um, I was taking a lot of anthropology classes along the way. And just, it just very, uh, really interested me, and I probably probably won't do anything with it. Uh, I'm thinking about joining the military after college and see where that takes me. What would you uh, want to do militarily? Um, fly some airplanes or um, do some type of special ops. So. Well, listen, you've been uh, a great guy at the University of Wyoming. Wish you the very best uh, this season, and go get those Huskers. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. Devin Harris, Cowboy Senior Linebacker. We'll be back with Dave and Dave as they assess the Nebraska game right after this. Wyoming Coal produces reliable, affordable electricity. That electricity lights up one out of every five American households. And that's a number we can all be proud of. Wyoming Coal. It lights up our world. In college, I was lucky enough to do football and track. Uh, I was able to do track my last two years because of my knees, and uh, Don James let me miss spring ball one spring to do it. Um, knowing that the NFL career was over, track was, was something I could continue to compete in. And I was blessed enough to go on to 90, 95 and 96 after I graduated and continued to compete and then retired in 97. Walking in the trials in 96 was just an eye opener. Um, just from the warm up experience, it's just so, you have to be so spot on psychologically. Um, just your thought process, you have to visualize it, you have to be ready because you get two warm-ups and you go. My career at the University of Washington and winning three Pac-10 titles and going to the Rose Bowl three times and win that national title our second year, nothing really compares to it um, because it wasn't, tracks yourself, you, you control it. Um, but to come together as, as 10 guys on the field, and to work together, offensive, defense, things, special teams, and how the defense had our back when they came off the field. If the defense was struggling, they said, don't worry, we got it, make your adjustments. Uh, to go back to that and look at it. At the time, you didn't realize how hard it was until you got out of it, and then all of a sudden you started seeing USC make those runs. And you're like, wow, this isn't that easy. But at that time for us, it was like, there's no problem, we can do it. So I'd have to hold that as the highest 
of being together as a family and guys working together as one to where nothing came off the field in the locker room. Uh, we were, it was, honestly, it was one heartbeat with the whole team. Cowboys and Cornhuskers will kick it off at 6 p.m. Mountain Time on Saturday over there in Memorial Stadium. Boy, they just uh, added a bunch of seats, Coach, and I know it's a great place, up to close to 91,000 now. You have prepared for that. I know I've seen a lot in the fall drills getting ready for Nebraska, that sound, that ambiance. I don't know how you could duplicate it, but I know the Cowboys are excited to go there and experience that too. Well, they, they are, and, and you can't duplicate the 91,000 fans, but you can duplicate the, uh, the noise and the racket that they're going to create for us, and so we've tried to do that. But uh, really excited about going there. You know, I had an opportunity to coach there uh, when I was at Missouri, and uh, you know, I think our kids are, are excited to go there to play in a great venue in front of a lot of people on national television against the national ranked team. Well, let's talk about that nationally ranked team. They come in ranked 18th in the country. Uh, the, the great deal of consistent success for this program over the years, of course. They've been very good in Lincoln. But this particular Nebraska team, what makes them so effective? Let's start with their offense. A lot of people coming back, we know. Yeah, they got a lot of experience back offensively. It starts with a big offensive line, a big physical offensive line that, uh, you know, they're, they're like road graders out there. They're going to move you. And uh, then they then you go to a great ta a great quarterback in Taylor Martinez, and, and we know that uh, he, he's got phenomenal playmaking ability, both running and passing. Uh, they've got uh, great skilled players at the receiving positions. They've got big physical tight ends that can run and block. Uh, Abdul is a good good running back. Uh, they've always had uh, you know a variety of good running backs, and so a lot of guys back offensively. They might be one of the best offenses in the country. And then uh, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, very experienced secondary, uh, extremely athletic back there. Uh, they are uh, young at linebacker and, and in the defensive line, but uh, w w you know I know the type of players that Nebraska recruits every year, and they're certainly going to have great uh, uh, talent at those positions. It's a great challenge for the Cowboys, no question about that. It's also a great opportunity for Wyoming, isn't it? It is. It, it's a, you know it's a challenge to to go to a place like this and play such a great team. But with challenge comes opportunity, and the opportunity for us to go out and, and, and see where we're at as a football program and uh, see what we can get done on Saturday night. Do the Cowboys change anything about what we've become accustomed to over the last few years in the way that they go about uh, offensive football? No, we, you know, we're, we're, we've prepared the, the same. Uh, we believe in what we do, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to do the same thing, whether it's Nebraska or the next week against Idaho. We're going we're to prepare uh, on a schedule which we have set. And, uh, you know, the big key for us is, is in our preparation, is, is the time that we spend uh, as a program and, and each individual player so that he has the best opportunity on Saturday night to uh, execute his assignment versus his opponent. You talked about Taylor Martinez, certainly one of the best quarterbacks in America. The Cowboys happen to have one themselves. Brett Smith comes into his junior season, the former Mountain West uh, freshman of the year, had an unbelievable season last year statistically, and, and now into his junior season. And I know you expect great things out of number 16. Well, Brett's had a, a great off season, and we certainly know that he's got a lot of playmaking potential. Uh, he's made plays uh, in the last two years for us. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a bigger, stronger, faster, smarter quarterback right now than he's been since he's been here and uh, has been very dedicated and, and doing a great job of leading. And, uh, you know, I would expect him to have his best season at this point in time. You know, you've talked about uh, leadership. We mentioned it a little bit earlier. Uh, this Cowboy team seems to have a stockpile of outstanding leaders on this team, not, not just the four captains, but you see this veteran leadership attitude from a lot of players on this team. Well, we, we do have a lot of leaders, and we've had to develop those guys over the last four years. And, uh, um, and now we've got kids that are completely uh, committed to what we're doing, and they only understand one way of doing business, and that's our way, and they believe in it, and they've worked extremely hard. And, and so they want to be successful, and I think because of that, we have a lot of great leaders on this football program. Pretty normal travel schedule over on Friday, play the game Saturday night, come right back after Saturday evening, huh? Well, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it doesn't change much. We, we were in town as long as we can, get all of our work done here, head over there uh, and, and get to the hotel, have dinner, go see a movie with the team, have a team meeting, put them to bed, and then have some meetings the next day and uh, go play a football game. Well, we'll look forward to it. Should be something. The Cowboys season opener in Lincoln when they take on the 18th-ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers at Memorial Stadium. Now, come back next time around and join us here on the Dave Christensen Show. We'll talk all about it. We'll have some highlights next week. 
right here. So we hope you'll join us. This has all been brought to you by Union Wireless with Contract Buyout. Get paid to switch. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody. Now give Big Wireless the boot and get paid to switch up to $200 per line with contract buyout from Union Wireless. Keep your same number and choose from any phone in the store. Union Wireless, treating you like a neighbor, not a number.